Our first guest tonight is an exceptionally talented person with multiple Emmys and even an Oscar rattling around in her fanny pack. Her new movie is called May December. It opens at theaters on Friday and on Netflix December 1st. Please welcome Julianne Moore. <laughs> People from Norway here tonight. That's how deep it goes. All right. How good are you? you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm doing well. Good, thank good. you. Congratulations on hosting the Oscars. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I appreciate. You know, it was like a Groupon thing. Yeah. If you uh, <laughs> you do three, they give you the fourth the, one. Right, so yeah. I said, what the hell? Oh, absolutely. And congratulations. What? You've been nominated four times. You won one time, right? I won one time. I think five times. I've been nominated. Five times. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's even better than four. Are you happy to be back at work oh after my the God. lengthy strike? Yes, yeah, so happy. I really missed it. What I did you do working. while you were on strike? I was, um, well, I mean, I was on a job this summer in New Jersey, and we were almost done, and then we got shut down two weeks before we were finished. So there we were, kind of in the middle of summer, um, and I sort of started my summer early and went from New Jersey, where I was working on a, on a movie with lots of animals, to my place in Montauk, where we had like snakes in the basement. And I kept getting messages saying, there are snakes in the basement. From who, the snakes? My husband. <laughs> From your husband? My husband. He's, he's like, telling there are... you there are snakes in the basement. Yeah, he's like, there are snakes in the basement. I'm like, oh, OK. So I go home. I go home for the summer. And I went down to the basement, and I see a snake. And I was like, oh, you know, and then I left. And then I went down like later on, I'm like, no, not there. And then later on that day, I'm like, no, there. But then I realized it's one snake. There aren't snakes in the basement. There's a snake. What are we Just talking like about snake-wise here? Like a, you know, little garden snake, like a little, you know. But, but first, I thought the snake was dead. But then once I saw the snake move around, I'm like, oh, it's a, it's a live snake. So or I'm it's like, a ghost snake, an oh, undead zombie snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be careful of That's those. That's right. <laughs> but I was like, I'm going to take care of this. You took care of I the snake? I took care of it, because I'm not afraid of snakes. At all? No, oh, not really. I'm that's not afraid good. of snakes. But thank you. But because <laughs> I was out of work, Uh huh. I said to my husband, let's roll on this. Let's film it. I'm going to pick up the snake, and I want you to capture it. And he's a director, so he thought, why not? Uh -huh. So I went down, and I, um, I put my rubber gloves on, and I reached down. Oh, we have the video. Up. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. Oh, that is a snake. That's a real snake. Look, look. See? You have special snake gloves, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's right in the Tupperware. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I, I released the snake, and, and then I, and I put it on my Instagram, and my God, the comments I got. Everyone's, you're a hero. You are you're a hero. You're so brave. You are a I hero. I can't believe it. I could never do that. Anyway, it just it Were blew people up my insulting feet. your husband for not getting the snake? No. I mean, I know it's like a no. little bit sexist, perhaps, to I mean, say that he should have captured the but snake. See, he's like, I am a, I'm the snake guy, and uh -huh. I'm the spider guy, and okay. he's the rat and mouse guy. You handle I'm spiders not, and snakes. And he'll deal with the rats and the mice. Oh, wow. Yeah. So anything with hair is his department. That's right, yeah. <laughs> What about a tarantula? We got a little bit of hair on that spider. Would you still deal with the tarantula? That's my department. That would yeah. be your department. Yeah, and with that Tupperware too, then you're like, like that. Yeah, right. and then you return it to your, you know, in-laws or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Do you? <laughs> did you decide that? Uh, how do you divide the, uh, the duties the like snake that up? Rat thing. I think it's just where your inclination is. You know, where you're drawn, right? Uh huh. But I'm really afraid of mice and rats. And we've yeah. got a whole rat thing too. You oh, we have we rats. Live, yeah. Well, we live in New York City, so you have like snakes at the beach, right, in Long Island. But then you have rats in the city. Yeah. And we had a little. We had a little yard. This is years ago, and we knew whenever anybody's construction in New York, the rats get loose, right? right yeah. So somebody was digging something up, so suddenly we saw this rat going back and forth in our yard. We're like, we gotta do something about this rat, what are we gonna do? And we'd sometimes leave our garden doors open, and one time I was on the second floor and the rat 
dashed by my feet, right? Dashed by my feet. Oh. It was really scary. Yeah. So we call the exterminator, and he says, where there's one rat, there's an infestation. I hate when they say right? that. They always say that. There's thousands, thousands in the of wall. Thousands of rats. That's you're yeah. living with a colony of rats. Yeah. No, it was just one rat. It was one rat. Was it? It turned out to be one guy who just got in and was wandering around our house. We got him out, right? We thought we'd solve the problem. And I was on the phone one day downstairs, and suddenly my husband starts screaming at the top of his lungs, screaming, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the rat! I have a rat! And he comes by me with a pair of kitchen tongs and a rat in the kitchen tongs and shakes it! Rat! 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 And I'm like, ah! uh, yeah. And I jumped up on the desk, and I'm like, no! And he started to laugh because he'd put like one of the kids' little stuffed animals. Oh, in the kitchen oh, tongs. wow! <laughs> so I said I was leaving to go to the airport, and so I stopped talking to him. I'm not talking to you. And I went to the airport and I called my girlfriend. I was like, "You're never gonna believe it because you went by me with the rat." And she's like, "Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. He he ran by you with a stuffed animal and a pair of kitchen tongs." And you're not talking to him. Yeah, but yeah. his intent was not pure. And no, no it was impure. And it did you get him pure. back? Did you do anything? My no, wife did that to me, a similar thing. We went on a trip to Africa, and she brought in her luggage a big fake snake and put it under the bed. And then I was headed, you know, to the bathroom, yeah, and then yeah. there was this big snake there. Yeah. And um, I did get her back. I married her. You did. I, I proposed. Yeah. <laughs> And she'll never, she learned her lesson. <laughs> We're gonna take a break. Julianne Moore is here, May December is a movie. What were your expectations? Uh, that tonight would go well, that my children would love me, and my life would be perfect. I'm a little naive. I am naive. I always have been. In a way, it's been a gift. That is Julianne Moore and Natalie Portman in May, December, directed by Todd Haynes. This is, um, it's, if you want to explain what, it, what, the, what it's about and what we're seeing there, or I can, whatever you think. Okay, I can, I can. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a stab at it. Um, so it's about, um, it's about, I play a woman who had a sexual relationship with a 12-year-old um, and then had uh, several, ch married him, had several children with him, and, and, and it's 20 years later. Similar like, to the Mary Kay Letourneau similar, story. Similar, inspired by, but yes. not about. So sort of a, a story like that. And it's years later, and our kids are graduating, our younger kids are graduating from high school, and Natalie Portman plays an actress who comes to observe me because she's going to play me in a movie. So she is an actress observing yeah. as actors will do from That's time right. to time. They'll yeah. go and observe. And so did you observe anyone to play oh, this role? Sure. Oh, you wow. Always do, it's like you're looking always... into two different mirrors. That's right, here. exactly. So I had to, my character's a baker, so I had to go to a bakery and, and talk to, about baking with someone and watch her bake a cake and learn to bake the cake the way she did. I also arranged flowers, so I went to a florist. I spoke to her about arranging flowers. So I play, so I'm observing someone to play someone who's being observed by someone who's going to play me. Very meta. Yeah. Very, very <laughs> yeah. meta. Yeah. yeah. And you, is that something that you will always do when you play a character? Will you yeah. dig into that? You like to, because you want to get it right. Because if you're playing, you know, if you're playing a baker, there's somebody in the audience who's a baker, and, and they're going to be like, that's wrong. They, yeah, and they're like, that's wrong. Or they'll be like, that's right. That's right. She learned how to do that. It's right? funny. You yeah. are really catering to a very small portion of the audience. <laughs> Yeesh. But I do remember, like, yeah. I was a morning radio dish jockey yeah. for years, and whenever there was a scene in a radio station and they didn't have their headphones on, it was like, oh, that's not real. Come it on. just takes you takes right, you right, out, right of out of the movie. Yeah. You can enjoy yourself then. What yeah. other parts have you um, done research for and studied? I, this is, I cannot believe You know this. I'm getting at Boogie Nights, right? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, but... <laughs> I was gonna say something else. <laughs> okay. I did yeah, a, something I did else a, is fine. Yeah, maybe something else. <laughs> I did a movie years ago called Nine Months, where my character has a baby. It was before I had had children, so I actually watched a live birth. I someone let me watch her give birth. Did you know the person? Not well. No. Really. <laughs> 
How did no, you, how did you approach amazing. her? She was so nice. She was so nice. You know, the production found her and she agreed to, to talk to me and I talked to her about being pregnant and what it was like and, and was with her for a little bit. And then when she went into labor, they called me and I was there with her husband. <laughs> <laughs> you rushed over to I watch did. and basically do nothing, huh? I know. I learned. I was there to learn, man. And if there's a learn, snake yeah. in the room, you would have been able to handle that. I would no have problem. taken care of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And did you keep in touch with the baby? You know, I we kept in touch for a while, you the did. mom and I, not the baby. Uh -huh. I think the baby would be like, what the hell? <laughs> I had no idea you were there. Um, but yeah, the mom, we kept in touch for a while, but we sort of lost touch. But she was really, really lovely. Oh, that nice. was an unusual experience. That's quite a gift, yeah. I know, right? Also, it's yeah. hard to explain to like your mother-in-law if she wasn't allowed in the room. <laughs> that's right. But this <laughs> actress. Julianne Moore yeah, will be here. <laughs> that's right. You will be out in the waiting room. <laughs> With grandpa being exactly. quiet. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's great to see you. The movie is uh, just phenomenal. It's really uh, excellent. I know you're getting great reviews. Yeah. Natalie's getting great Natalie's reviews. Amazing. The movie itself is. Everybody's getting great reviews for May, December. It opens in theaters on Friday. It premieres on Netflix December 1st. Julianne Moore, everybody. Thank you, Julianne.